Happy Monday. Happy new moon this week. New moon in Taurus. Uh, on my Odyssey and my Rumble, not on YouTube, so I'll leave a link down below, but on my Odyssey and my Rumble, I will have new moon videos up. I actually have up to Scorpio right now. Already up on Odyssey. <sighs> Bringing out my Druid Craft deck for this week. New Moon and Taurus. It feels like uh, feels like a an earthy kind of deck week. <laughs> <clears throat> if that one comes back out I'll talk about it if not it was probably just a message for me <laughs> okay so this week new moon in Taurus <clears throat> On the new moon, Mercury will be conjunct the north node, or Rahu, which essentially means that we're going to feel, I mean, if you don't already feel like this, it's going to feel like there's this intense hunger for more knowledge and more truth. And you might have people really stuck in beliefs and feeling quite argumentative. Um, but beliefs don't always reflect the essential truth of reality. And that's true of me too. Nothing I say, I'm not above the things that I say. <laughs> they apply to me too. But just keep that in mind this week. Um, it's the important stuff. Uh, what do you value? What are you trying to build? That's what Taurus is about. Being grounded. Being grounded in reality and putting your inspirations into practice and supporting who you are with uh, action and resources. Taurus is fixed earth. That's why they say we're stubborn, because it's fixed earth. Like, good luck moving uh, a cow that doesn't want to move. It's all about uh, having a solid foundation before um, flying, in, <laughs> flying into Gemini season. Mm, eclipse season starts soon too. Fuck. <laughs> I said eclipse season starts soon and the tower fucking pops out. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> okay. So, speaking of beliefs and uh, what inspires you, we have the Prince of Wands. Prince of Wands is a pretty fast energy. 
they definitely act on what they believe in. So two deacons of Sagittarius and one deacon of Scorpio. Wands is the energy of divine inspiration. It's fire. Actually, all three of these have a theme of fire. So, there's something that you believe in quite strongly, and you're willing to take action on it, and that's wonderful. Uh, embrace that. <laughs> embrace that energy and, and hold that tight within you. Keep that flame lit because it's important. There's no major fire energy for a while in the skies, so it's up to you to keep it going. Oh, yes, on the 13th, Jupiter moves from Aquarius into Pisces, its traditional home. So that'll be quite nice, I think. Anyway. Second card that came out is the Nine of Wands. Great strength. This is the Middle Deacon of Sagittarius, actually. It's two Sagittarius cards. Again, beliefs. But look at the difference between these two, these two figures. The Prince is young and full of vital energy and off to the races, you could say. This one here, he's, he's been through a battle. It's tough. It's not easy. There's flames off in the distance, like uh, fields have been raised. Actually, that's kind of funny because <laughs> that's something that the, <laughs> the Prince of Wands could do if... Um, if led by disgust, um, disgust and, and hatred rather than um, a higher ideal, could definitely burn bridges or burn fields behind him, right? So be cautious of that. Um, while it's important to stand for your beliefs and, and stand up for what you believe in, definitely try not to burn bridges. You never know... Who could be a future ally, um, especially if you treat people with love and compassion. And that does not mean blind compassion. That does not mean allowing people to push past your boundaries. It's very distinct that he has a wall there that you cannot cross. Um, There's certain things that he will not allow. But if you're too quick to burn bridges, <laughs> or you, you make a, a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> you know, make something a way bigger deal than it has to be. Uh, that could, could lead you to more trouble than what's really necessary. And then I said eclipse season and the tower came out. So this is a card of Mars, actually. And uh, this could be this could be anything from some of these beliefs that have pushed you up until now need to shift, or a conflict, especially with the other card here, some kind of conflict and. Things kind of go south. Uh, but it's important to remember that anytime a, a tower moment happens, 
it's an opportunity to to shift and realign yourself it usually means that the direction you were headed is not where you're supposed to go or you know there's just something else that you need to do before you can get to where you were going um there's just there's another opportunity that you're supposed to take or that could be better for you to take Mars is in Cancer now, and um, square Chiron. Chiron represents our wounds, our the scabs that just won't quite heal. There's definitely uh, some interaction happening there. Because Chiron is in Aries, which is Mars's home, um, and Chiron and Aries can be uh, wounds and needing to re redefine uh, or feeling really insecure about our identity and our sovereignty. Mm. things of that nature and the square to Mars Mars being in cancer can make people very emotional very uh, uh, I have that position natally and when I get angry I cry <laughs> just for example so angry I just cry um, <laughs> so And it's, it's kind of funny because the tower <laughs> is over water. Mm. I literally just picked that up on the card. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Anyway. <laughs> uh, there could be challenges to our identity, to our beliefs, to our boundaries. And... Um, the natural reaction might be to blow up. <laughs> uh, burn fields. And I urge you to take a breath, take a moment, and um, count to ten before reacting, maybe. So that's your weekly reading. I'm not getting anything else out of the cards right now. Other than I just get the sense that we might start off the week feeling uh, bright eyed and bushy tailed <laughs> and come out of it feeling a little haggard. So that's, that's how I feel today. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. If you would like a personal tarot reading, definitely either email me or order one through my Etsy store, which will be linked below. And I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but my new moon videos for tarot will be out on Odyssey and Rumble, not on YouTube. So check out the links below for that. And I wish you a wonderful week. Bye.